to the future. Minutes. And good Sunday evening to you, and uh, Monday morning, I suppose, depending on where you're watching. I'm Louis Largen. I'm with you for 120 minutes on MTV, which is the best in alternative music video every Sunday night at midnight and 11 o'clock central. Tonight, I'm very excited. A band I love a lot, the Goo Goo Dolls, are going to be here. And so our videos from Ned's Atomic Dustbin, Primus, Robin Hitchcock and the Egyptians, and Belly Plus. That's, that's, that's not all, folks, plus brand new clips from The Pursuit of Happiness, Velocity Girl, Crush, and King Missile. And one hour from now, we're going to be world premiering the brand new video from Midnight Oil. In 10 minutes, if, this, if that's not enough, we're going to have the planet's first look at the new one from Dinosaur Jr. And right now, here it is, the world premiere video from one of the most anticipated alternative records of the year. Everybody's wondering what this guy's been up to. Perry Farrell's new band, Porno for Pyros, and the group also features former Jane's Addiction guy, uh, Steve... Stephen Perkins on drums, bassist Martin Lee Noble from Thelonious Monster, and guitarist Peter De Stefano, excuse me, from the Venice surf band K38. Their self-titled debut album hits the stores next Tuesday, April 27th. The first single is based on a rather interesting person who lives in Los Angeles, a female lesbian prostitute who dresses up as a man for homosexual men in order to get drug money. It's, uh, it's very interesting. Check it out. Expect nothing less from Perry Farrell. Cursed female from Porno for Pyros. This is Frank Black and you're watching 120 Minutes on MTV. 120 minutes. Thanks a lot, Frank, and uh, be sure you stay tuned for a world premiere from Midnight Oil here on 120 Minutes, as well as the latest from Primus. My name is Louis Largent. We got special guests in the studio, and they are the band The Goo Goo Dolls. And this is Johnny, this is George, and that's Robbie. And yep. Robbie plays bass, George plays drums, and you play guitar, and you guys both sing. Cool. And, ladies and gentlemen, round of applause. They're not from Seattle. Thank you. Yeah. From probably the most unobvious place for a band to be, I can't think of off the top of my head any band that is from Buffalo, New York. And we were talking earlier that there are, is there in fact a, a burgeoning Buffalo scene and there's some names that weren't too obvious that are from Buffalo that yeah. you guys mentioned. Yeah, Rick James from Buffalo and uh, Joe Public. Right. And uh, Billy Sheen, Mr. Big. Mr. Big bass player. <laughs> Mr. Big yeah. shot bass player. Mr. Big and Mr. Big. And Doc Severinsen lives there now. Oh, he does. Yeah, he lives yeah. there now. He He's hangs out in a little suburb called Orchard Park, I believe. Now, what kind of uh, music scene is there in in Buffalo? Is there a? I think the scene's pretty small, in its in itself. There's not a lot of clubs to play and stuff. Um, we've kind of, you know, our a group of friends have kind of been bringing shows for a long time. But it's a lot of bands, just not a lot of uh, places for the bands to play. Yeah, there's not a lot of venues for. For the bands to get into and stuff, you know, there's there's a real big um, kind of cover band scene, right? And, you know, a lot of those Crystal Mist kind of bands, like with names like that, you know. But it's shrinking rapidly. Yeah. Thank did God. You, did you guys? Now, first of all, how did you guys all meet each other? Were you guys lifelong friends? Which it seems like you are, um, just not knowing you at all, really. And were, did you guys start out as a cover band? Were you, was that your thing at first? No, just uh, foolish college kids. You know? We played a lot of covers when we first started because we didn't have enough material to do a whole set. You know, <laughs> so we were what, what, what were some great covers that you did early uh, on? We covered we covered like Steve Miller and uh, Blue Oyster Cult <laughs> and uh, you know Cream. Did you do Godzilla? <laughs> no, we didn't do Godzilla. We, we probably tried. We ended up doing point. Godzilla, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, you know. And then so so did you guys all meet each other in college? Yeah. yeah, yeah. All running around, hanging out in the college ghetto together, you know, in Buffalo. And did you did you all have particular instruments at the uh, at the time, or did you go? Well, I'm I can kind of play guitar, and well, you want to be in the band too, so why don't you play the bass? Did it happen like that? Well, actually, they were in separate bands, and I kind of played with I with with uh, each of their bands, uh -huh. and then uh, I was into sort of different things, and they were, and we kind of found each other interesting, I think. Because <laughs> yeah, no one else did. I, mean, <laughs> I, I was, me and George were really into like, I was more into the hardcore kind of punk rock stuff, you mm -hmm. know, and and uh, you know, obviously into, you know, that mid '80s, you know, midwestern sound, right. kind of thing, which was right. great. You know, it's still great stuff. It was just the only real 
form of rock and roll, which was going on at the time, you know. And, uh, you know, we all found each other, just said, hey, man, let's do a band, you know. We had a keyboard player in our band for the first rehearsal. But <laughs> kind of the Pete Best of the group. Yeah, well. was, she was. She's gone. <laughs> or yeah. she? Excuse she me. was gone uh, well. after that. Well, we're gonna have more from the Goo Goo Dolls later on. Right now, from San Francisco, it's Primus. They just had their last album, Sailing the Seas of Cheese, certified gold. This is a video from their third album, Pork Soda. It's called My Name Is Mud. <laughs> From their 1990 album, Hold Me Up. That's Goo Goo Dolls with There You Are, here in 120 Minutes. And uh, here they are. Here and are. Uh, that, that video was uh, filmed in a baseball stadium in Buffalo, New York. Mm -hmm. That's right, with the Spinal Tap haircuts. And uh, Richard Marks saw that video, Amir, probably when it was here on 120 Minutes, when it debuted, and said, what a concept for a video. <laughs> I'm going to film mine in a baseball stadium. Yeah, because he's more famous than we'll probably ever be, so we right. can do those kind of things. Right, and, except you didn't have the dramatic, you know, the game-winning home run. <sighs> no, no, no fantasy sequences. <laughs> See, these guys are true, they're true innovators because... Also, if, if Johnny he used to have long hair in that video, as you can see, and quite, quite coincidentally, or not quite coincidentally, I think, Bon Jovi saw that do and said, gotta have it. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then you cut your hair, well, and then Bon Jovi said, me and John are old friends. Right. You know, we're, we're, we're old, a couple of old New Jersey guys, even though I'm from Buffalo. Right. And, uh, you know, he called me up and said, Johnny. What do you think I can do, you know? It's just not like it used to be in the mid-80s. You know, the long raincoat with the sequins on, it's just not working anymore. I said, John, cut your hair off. You know? Right. And, and he said, all right. Yeah, I said, look, I'll do it if you do it. <laughs> and I said, okay, I'll do it. And then that's how we got it going. Okay, your new album, Superstar Car Wash, uh, it is your fourth. Correct. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to stroke your ego here, stroke your ego, and say it is your best album today. We're going to talk more about that later. It was a uh, former top ten alternative album and we're going to look at this week's top 10 as well as coming back with the Goo Goo Dolls later on. From their third album, The Downward Road, that is Canadian, uh, more specifically Toronto's The Pursuit of Happiness with Cigarette Dangles here on 120 Minutes. I'm Louis Largent. My special guests tonight are the Goo Goo Dolls, and the new album is called Superstar Car Wash. Um, looks like it's going to be your most successful record to date. So far it is. Um, why do you think that is? It, uh, my, my personal opinion, I think um, this is probably the best produced record you've uh, you've ever made. Would you agree with that? Well, I think we had money this time for the first <laughs> yeah. time to make a real record, you know. We spent a lot of time with our old producer working on uh, mm -hmm. a lot of pre-production mm -hmm. stuff. His name's John Petrie. And um, then uh, Gavin came in and kind of buffed out the rough edges that we still had to go. And yeah. I mean, we were working with a, a bigger record label as well. You know, I mean, we're with Warner Brothers now, so it was like, you know, they were more, in, they were more knowledgeable about what we were all about, mm -hmm. you know, as opposed to Metal Blade. You know, is it, is the songwriting becoming easier? Are you becoming more prolific, and as as you mature in your in your older years, <laughs> in your mid to late twenties now, well, we're not so apt to write hardcore songs anymore. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, kind of kind of grow out of that. You get a little bit older. You know, I mean, not twenty anymore. So mm -hmm. I think hard. we kind of wanted to do a different record this time. You know, there's no there's no covers. There's no uh, instrumentals. We've traditionally done a song with a friend of ours from Buffalo, Lance Diamonds, his name, and. Um, this time we just wrote 14 songs and yeah. kind of wanted it to stand on itself. No gimmicks. No that, gimmicks. <laughs> that does. It's a, it's a fine record. And uh, speaking of Warner Brothers, who we were talking about earlier, on that fine label is also Belly, and actually Reprise Records. And that's coming up. Uh, they are going to be coming up with the video from their record-breaking number one alternative album and also world premiere from Midnight Oil, plus more with these guys, the Goo Goo Dolls, as 120 Minutes continues. Pray for us. Yes. Minutes. 
We are just five minutes away from a world premiere video from Midnight Oil here on 120 Minutes. I'm Lewis Largen. Our special guests tonight are the Goo Goo Dolls, one of the great live bands. Um, <laughs> I hate, I hate to and say this. we're I, feeling sexy yeah, today. Yeah, you're looking sexy, feeling Thanks, good, dude. and uh, I, I, I don't mean to stroke you guys again, but I'm going to because like your live show is unbelievable. I had the greatest time when I saw you in, in San Francisco. Um, you guys must just wing it big time. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. yeah that's exactly. <laughs> that's like, that's like uh, an improv thing, you know. You we saw that. you at our last show too, man. You were out there. You were swimming over Matter people. It looked like you were winging it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm kind of bummed I never made it in the video, but I, I, I had a great time. And you, I remember you said, you go, God, you know it's going to be one of those nights when you hear Tommy Two-Tone three songs into the set. You guys ripped into 8675309. But yeah. you just, do you have no set list? Do you just, do you just talk to each other and go, we're going to play this, we're going to play this? What do no, you? we usually have a set list. Yeah, we have, yeah, There's it's certain nights song. that uh, are more conducive to... Uh, right. Eight six seven five three or nine. That was that, that was a punk rock show. You know, that was like that was like okay, we may as well be in a basement with a hundred of our friends drinking beer, you know, going nuts, and and that was basically what the show was like. You know, so. you just got off the road with Soul Asylum. Did your show change to a more like maybe straightforward uh, attack? Sort of say? a Reader's Digest version <laughs> of what we do. We had forty minutes, you know, so it was pretty much planned out. You know, yeah. Well, tight. you guys are gonna be going back to Buffalo and then gearing up for the headlining tour that you're gonna do yeah. fairly soon. Catch these guys; they are absolutely amazing live. I, uh, I can vouch for them. <laughs> we're going to continue talking with the Goo Goo Dolls. But speaking of playing live, Belly, we're here in New York playing, uh, playing New York City a couple weeks ago, and Allison Stewart from MTV News was there, and here is her report. Tanya. Minutes. Lewis Largent with you for the second 60 of MTV's 120 Minutes. And coming up in the next hour, more conversation with the Goo Goo Dolls and great alternative music, music videos from the Goo Goo Dolls, Velocity Girl, New Order, Crush, Best Kissers in the World, Jesus Hones, and King Missile. And of course, the proverbial, a whole lot more. We're going to kick off the second hour with a world premiere video from Midnight Oil, the Oil's eighth album, not to be confused with Love and Rockets, Earth, Sun, and Moon. This is Earth and Sun and Moon. It's going to be in the stores tomorrow, Tuesday. And recently they were here in New York, actually in Brooklyn, for they were shooting the video for their first single, True Ganini. From Congregation at Cincinnati's Afghan Wigs with Conjure Me. It's 120 Minutes on MTV. I'm Louis Largent. These guys are the Goo Goo Dolls. We're about to look at We Are the Normal, which is the first single from Superstar Car Wash and a song co-written by one of the gods of songwriting, Paul yeah. Westerberg. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure there's an interesting story behind the... Uh, the origin of this song. No, but we could make one up. <laughs> well, that's what, see, I, I was talking to him on the phone, and, I was, and he was saying, you know, tell, tell, you know, make up a good lie, because it's really boring how we did it, you know. <laughs> it was like, so it was like, no, we did it through the mail. You know, um, we sent him uh, a cassette with the with the uh, music on it, and then uh, he popped it in his four track and wrote words over it. And, mm -hmm. Sent it back, and then that was it. That was that simple. Then we recorded it, yeah. You know, and he, he uh, and it was really funny because he was like, "Well, listen, I'll make up this fake name to put on the record, okay?" And then he got the the a copy of the finished version. He's like, "You can put my real name on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great song." Yeah. So it was like, oh, "Okay, man, cool, whatever you want to do." Safeguarding himself, yeah. you know. Yeah. Did, did you know that you wanted to have a song with him on it, or said just he just kind of did it on a whim and hoped it turned out okay? I I always loved his songwriting. I think he's one of the greatest writers, you know ever in rock, you know, and it was like, you know, it was kind of like, uh, you know, like Keith Richards getting to play with Chuck Berry. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Something like that. It was like one of your one of your idols you get to work with. It was really great. Now, you, know? you toured for, or, or opened up with them on their last tour. How did you end up uh, hooking up? I mean, was it, were you like huge fans before? Because oh, yeah. he also likes you guys. Mm -hmm. And he, he actually sang in Alex Chilton, I Never Go Very Far Without the Goo Goo Dolls. <laughs> mm -hmm. So was that like, was that, how was that first meeting? A little weird, you know? <laughs> Scary. A little strange. But uh, do you, do you, have you ever? Well, never mind. I'm gonna. <laughs> say no, go on, say it, man. Do, 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 <laughs> have you ever met somebody who you really like, totally looked up to, and then blown it and said the stupidest things? Oh yeah. I, I did that with with Westerberg. Actually, I met him a long time ago. I, Robbie and I went to his concert and we brought his uh, our first album backstage, mm -hmm. 
and our manager hooked it up, however, and I was like, wow, I'm meeting Paul Westerberg, and I hand him the album, and you know, I was like, man, you were a big influence on me, and he's like, don't blame me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, and we don't. <laughs> you're a punk, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna look at We Are The Normal from the Goo Goo Dolls. Sumner from New Order, and this is Stephen Morris. From New Order, and you're watching 120 Minutes. 120 Minutes. And we got their latest video still on the way. They're first in about a bazillion years. And also the best kissers in the world and a brand new band called Crush. I'm Lewis Largent. This is MTV's 120 Minutes. These guys are the Goo Goo Dolls. They're from Buffalo. They are a rock band. <laughs> and yes, they have a new album out called Superstar Car Wash, which is based on... Based on George? a car wash. In Buffalo. That simple. No other Sunny's reason. Sunny's Superstar Car Wash. It stands on its own. Now, Best wash in town. Do you know, uh, do you know the, the owner? Was, was, uh, you, or just, no. It, we just we drove by the car wash a lot, and we were just driving in the car talking about what the heck are we going to call our album. And it was right there, and we said, let's, let's, let's call, call it Superstar that. Car Wash. How, how does the, uh, the songwriting process work for you guys? You, you do lead vocals on about half of them. You do about mm -hmm. half. Does it, uh, do you guys all sit together and write? It, uh, it works all different ways. I mean, this, I wrote some songs by myself. We wrote some songs together. Robbie wrote some songs. I mean, everybody in the band does some writing, you know, so, mm -hmm. it's, so it's a good thing. You know, you get a good mix of ideas, and that kind of keeps it from following a pattern and getting really boring, you know, four records into it. I mean, yeah. one person does all the writing, it's going to become formula. You, you have to be in a certain state of mind to be writing. Do you, do you ever yeah. think, like, <laughs> when, when usually, like, uh, is it usually you're, the more miserable you are, the more creative you are? I was going to use yeah. that exact word. <laughs> the, more, the, more anxious at, at, the more anxious at 3 a.m. you are, I think, the better you write. You know, when you're, like, sitting there in your living room and you can't get to sleep, you can't do anything, you know, and that tends to be the time when all these things. When sleep, sort of sleep deprivation is always good for creative energy. A little bit of delirium. <laughs> right. No. Yeah. Well, we're going to get back to videos right now. And a brand new band called, um, uh, excuse me, they're from Silver Spring, Maryland. And they're called Velocity Girl on the famous sub pop label out of Seattle. Their debut album is called Copacetic. And their debut val uh, video is Audrey's Eyes. And I'm Louis Larkin and I'm talking really funny. <laughs> That's Seattle's best kissers in the world with Pickin' Flowers 4. I haven't really decided yet whether it's actually a good thing now or a bad thing to be from Seattle, but they are a good band, and they just got to throw the school of fish. Check them out. It's MTV's 120 Minutes. I'm Louis Largent, and after the break, I'll be talking more with the Goo Goo Dolls, and we'll have a brand new video from a band featuring former members of Susie and the Banshees and Killing Joke, so stay with us. Anyone should go hungry. Yes. I'm just Roger the drummer. I'm Patsy Klein. We're in King Missile, and you are watching 120 Minutes uh, on MTV. 120 Minutes. And King Missile are going to be explaining, and they have quite a lot of explaining to do. The story behind Detachable <laughs> Penis coming up in just a few minutes, and we're going to have a brand new video from them called Why Are We Trapped? This is 120 Minutes. I'm Louis Larchin. These guys, the Goo Goo Dolls, have been here for the majority of the show. they got a brand new album called Superstar Car Wash. And we yeah. are whipped. And you are tired, and you're getting ready to go right now back to minutes. take a red yeah. eye back out to Buffalo. And what's, uh, what's your scoop for the, the rest of 1993? It's a, your plans? I'm going to do some more touring, about two weeks, going to leave, a band called The Muffs opening up for us. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and they're also on Warner Brothers, so that'll be a good, a good double bill, mm -hmm. you know, they're a new band. The, actually, two of the girls were in the Pandoras, mm -hmm. so they kind of have a history. And Wait a minute, let's make this exciting. What are we really going to do? Uh, we're going to throw TV sets out of windows. <laughs> out of hotel room windows. But you got to do it in the rock drinks. Oh, okay. Well, baby, you know... <laughs> I'm going to throw a TV set out the window at every town in America. That's my goal for the end of the year. So uh, lock up your TV sets and, uh, and, uh, and come and see us. Please. There's an awful lot of TV sets in this room, Lewis. That's, that's right. Hey, 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 lock <laughs> all you guys. Uh, Julie, Rick, Rick. Um, um, you going to make any more videos, too? What's the next single? What can we... Well, it's a, has that been decided yet? It's, it, it's been a push and pull between a couple songs. 
falling down because you're gone. Mm -hmm. So we'll yeah. have to see. What do you think it should be? I think it should be. Um, you make the decision. This is right national here. TV now, so this, this is going to pull some weight. You know what song? <laughs> this is this week's favorite song. Um, <laughs> as bright as you are, don't get burned by your lucky star. There you go. <laughs> lucky star. Hey, wait a minute. No, you're going to take my job away. <laughs> Believe me. You know, you're never going to take your job you away. You sing that pretty good. You sing that I'll take good. yours. <laughs> okay. The thing that keeps happening is they keep changing their minds to me. There's like, they seem to think there's a lot of good songs on there. But it, I guess it looked like it was going to be because you're gone or falling down. You know, so that's cool. Thanks for coming by, you guys. Thank it you was very enjoyable, much. Enjoyable, enjoyable to, uh, to meet you guys. See them live. They're really great when they're on the road. And uh, we're going to take a look at a brand new video right now from a New York based band who's going to be hitting the road next month, and they're called Crush. You're going to recognize some of the people in this band. There's ex Susie and the Banshees guitarist John Carruthers, ex Killing Joke drummer Paul Ferguson, and vocalist Fred Shrek, who used to sing in a New York goth band called The Ancients. And Crush's self titled debut album, it's in the stores, it just hit it. And their debut video is called The Rain, and here it is. Thanks for staying up with 120 Minutes tonight. I'm Louis Largent, and thanks very much to the Goo Goo Dolls. I, I don't know if I made it really obvious at all how, how much I love them. I'm just like, oh my God, you guys are amazing. I love you. They're great. Go buy their album and especially see them on tour. And we want to thank, thank them for dropping by tonight. And right now, the final video on 120 Tonight from New York's King Missile with a new clip from their album, Happy Hour. It's called Why Are We Trapped? But first, John S. Hall has some explaining to do about this whole detachable penis thing. Here it is. <laughs> That's King Missile with Why Are We Trapped? And that's the final video here on 120 Minutes tonight. And we definitely want to know what you thought of tonight's show or just any of 120 Minute shows in general. And be honest, we're big boys. We can take it good or bad. All you have to do is send it to 1515 Broadway, 24th floor, New York, New York, 136. We want to thank again the Goo Goo Dolls for stopping by and thank you for watching. For 120 Minutes, I'm Louis Largent. Bye. Stop it.